I've always been fascinated in different types of insects. I'd probably describe myself as a little bit too passionate about these guys because they've really kind of taken over my life. I've not always had the best relationship holding insects. These are a lot creepier and faster than you think they are. Definitely very tense. He's thinking about biting me. I'm Claire and I'm passionate about all things creepy crawly. This is an adult female ghost mantis. So the strangest thing about breeding prey mantis is you never know what the girl is going to do. So everyone thinks that the male will always be eaten by the females, but that's not always true. Sometimes they tend to do to escape. They will literally eat anything they can grab hold of with their raptors, including each other if they're not that careful. We've probably got between 30 and 40 animals. Some are rehab, some are pets. So every morning I'll give them a kind of a, a quick once over, a bit of a health check. He's thinking about biting me. <laughs> and he knows I'm there, so then that's when I can go in there and hook him out very gently, hopefully. He doesn't think I'm dinner today. You always keep a snake away from your face, just in case. So with snakes, they never stop growing until the day they die. I'm so inspired about keeping reptiles and invertebrates because they're such a misunderstood animal. And I really want to get it out there that they're not that scary and they're really, really friendly and interesting to keep. Jumping spiders are very, very clever. Um, arachnids, they are very, very friendly, but if they don't know you, they can be very, very nervous. They've got the most adorable little face and they're just extra fluffy. A few years ago, I wouldn't have held a spider, but now, um, again, once you get used to their personalities and you can gain their trust, they're absolutely fantastic to have. When I was a child, I had lots of invertebrates and reptiles, but lots of small furries and rabbits and guinea pigs and rats and anything like that. And we even had an owl too. When I finished school, I did a few animal courses. I ended up getting a job at the vets and then I got a job at the reptile shop, which I still am to this day. So we have loads of different animals, some giant uh, whip scorpions, some giant train millipedes, some rainbow stag beetles, Cuban cockroaches, some clay spectra stick insects. As you can see down here, these two have decided to make love and they're hanging from a log. Their sex organs are quite close to their face and then they'll just uh, They'll have fun in that department and then we'll have lots of eggs laid in the substrate and then loads of babies will appear in a few months time. My friend Nick is arriving at the shop for the first time and he's never been around all of my pets before so it's going to be quite interesting to see his reaction. Hi. Hi Nick. I've not always had the best relationship holding insects but that's why I'm here to see if I can actually um, get over my fear of them sometimes. Hopefully we can do that today. Yeah. <laughs> They've got um, little sharp spines on the back of the legs. There we go. Feels weird holding a big one like this. You can definitely see the spikes on our legs. Yes, they uh, they do hurt, but they don't at the same time. I think you should give um, the giant whip scorpion a go. These are a lot creepier and faster than you think they are. There we go, keep it nice and slow. If you want to put your hand in front of mine, and then we'll let him go in his own time. They just use the feelers and then the little feeler on the back as well to figure out where they are. There we go. What do you think to him then? Yeah, definitely very tense. So these are all just finishing off their dinner for today. So we'll go for one that's not eaten. It is possible this might give you a little bit of a nibble. <sighs> wow. <laughs> wow, that does feel weird. You're getting touched by tiny, tiny, tiny hooks hundreds of times over. It feels like I'm getting a massage from it. On every leg, it just like, it walks by and it just like, it's like a soothing feeling, even though it's got hooky legs. Oh, he's getting faster now. Definitely feels weird on my hand. I mean, I thought I was going to be a bit skittish with a few of them, but after holding them, it just, it feels like they're not the creepy crawlers I expected them to be. I started posting online on my TikTok channel just about a year ago. I just thought it was just one of them silly apps that you just go on for a bit of fun. And then I started to post the odd video and then I got a bit of a response. And now we've nearly got over 40,000 followers. I have had some pretty crazy reactions. A lot of people, it'll be from where I'm tapping into their fear emotions. My main message to spread with these animals is they're not as scary as they actually seem. And they're actually a brilliant little creature to own or just even the experience for the day. I don't think I'll ever get tired of having so many creepy crawlies just because they always surprise you with something new every day. 